DJ Beatty. Welcome to Motivational Nuggets baseball instructional video. We're getting ready to talk you through how important it is to hit off the tee. It's very important. The big leaguers do it all the way down to the little league level. It's very important. It's going to help you elevate your game and take it to the next level. Today I'm at the Greensboro Batting Center in Greensboro, North Carolina, and we're getting ready to get to work. It's go time. Okay, let's get started. I got my favorite wood bat right here. It doesn't have to be a multi-million dollar bat because the bat doesn't make the hitter. The Indian makes the arrow. The arrow doesn't make the Indian. So here we are. We got us an original tee right here, nothing special. So if you got, if you got a tee at home, look, I remember my first tee was something that my father made for me. You know, it, as long as it's something that can hold a baseball, then that's what we got. Make sure whenever you're swinging off the tee, you don't always have to have something to hit into. Sometimes I like to take a lot of dry swings before the game without even hitting the ball. Just as long as I have something that I can focus on that's going to put it out there and I can just dry swing and make sure I do everything correctly. I want to make sure when I swing I, that kind of I pause kind of I, I pause after every swing to make sure I have the right balance to make sure I squash the bug. I want to make sure my front side stay closed and then I will repeat over and over again. I want to make sure do a nice swing, check everything. That's how important you have to be able to check your foundation. You can't build a house without a solid foundation, okay? A lot of people like to, to hit off the tee and they just like to see the results. But they don't understand is the tee, you want to work from the ground up, the ground up, okay? The next thing we're going to talk about is the placement of the tee. It's very important. You will be amazed. I work with all ages ages five all the way up to 55, whoever wants to take lessons from me. But you'll be amazed that the first thing I ask is when, when you do a lesson with me is show me where you stand. Show me where you stand when you're, when you're hitting off the tee. 90% of the kids to adults stand right here. Getting ready to hit the ball this direction and they stand right here. And they're ready to hit and they take their hats, they take their cuts and I say, just keep swinging, let me just watch you. Let me watch you swing for a little bit. And they take their hacks. And then at the end, I said, okay, now do you feel like you can actually hit the ball as hard as you can with the tee right there? And they, they say yes. Then I put some money into play. I say, if I gave you a million dollars for you to hit the ball as far as you can off of the tee, you can do whatever you want. You can stand wherever you want. Where would you position yourself to hit the ball as far as possible? They'll look at the tee. They'll look at where they're standing. And they'll quickly take a step back. They'll take a step back. All right? So what we're going to do is I want you to understand the difference between standing here and standing here. It's very important that you give yourself extension through contact. Extension. If I'm hitting the ball to right field, look at where I'm making contact. Right field. Boom. Right center field gap. If I'm hitting the ball to center field, look where I make the contact. Out front. If I'm hitting the ball to left field. Look where my contact point is, out front, okay? And again, I check my base, I squash the bug, kept my front side closed, go from there. Next thing we're about to talk about before we get started with hitting is actually understanding that you do not need to take gorilla hacks off the tee. If you're pouring with sweat, if you're absolutely after your first or second round doing like this after, after um, you get your first round, first two rounds on the tee, you're doing something wrong. You're using too many muscles. A professional scout told me, hey, why are you pouring with sweat after you take your first two rounds on the tee? And it's, I told him I was working hard. That's what I thought I was doing. But he said, have you ever took the time to YouTube or to watch major league hitters hit off of the tee? They do it. They do it. It looks effortless. It looks like they're just working on perfecting that swing, okay? You don't have to take gorilla cuts, and I'm gonna show you the difference between a gorilla hat and getting and actually taking a quality, quick, bat speed swing. Okay, let's get to it. You probably got a guy on your team that when he takes takes cuts off of the tee, he you know he gets in, and this is definitely something that you don't want to do. Okay, wrong. This is another guy that you probably have on your team. That's not how you hit off the tee. What you want to do when you hit off the tee, first thing you want to do is you want to make sure, you know, a lot of people put the ball two seam grip, put the ball on the tee, focus on hitting the inside seam, okay? 
once you place the ball on the tee, you want to make sure you're at a good, a good distance away from the tee. That's going to be the contact point. Okay, remember we talked about that, the contact point. You do not want to be right here. Get to be in a good position. I like to work middle away. I always like to work middle away so I can work my hands first. Okay, my hands have to travel first, stay inside the ball, and focus on hitting that inside seam. Okay, when you hit off of the tee, you do not want to take an aggressive, out of control swing. You just want to be calm. Use your wrist, make sure you're balanced, make sure you stay closed, follow through, squash the bug every time and you repeat. Put the ball back, horseshoes, two seam grip, placement, focus on it, focus. And notice how I'm focusing like there's a picture out front, a picture I got my same balance that I would have in the game. Right when I get ready to hit, I lock down, inside, I check, regroup. You want to do this over and over again. You want to continue to master this. This doesn't happen overnight, okay? I'm still trying to get better. You've got to continue to work your craft every day. Every day. As many times as you can, you got to work your craft. Do it again over and over again until you get comfortable. The more you spend doing something in life, the better you get. You get your, excuse me, you get your balance. You got your rhythm. I'm focused on the inside scene. Balance, close. Watch the bug, boom, right over the top. We just had an awesome time hitting off of the tee. I fell in love with hitting off the tee a long time ago. Why? Because I wanted to be great. Hitting off the tee, you gotta be able to, to understand that taking a lot of swings a day taking a lot of swings, I mean 500 swings a day, a thousand swings a day, that's what Cal Ripken Jr. and Albert Pujols does, they take a lot of swings, but if they're doing it at the major league level off of the tee, then why shouldn't you, okay, isn't, isn't your dream to be at the major league level, you got to be able to do the things that the major leaguers do in order to get your dreams to come true, all right, take the time, I wanted to get a shot of this, you have local batting centers everywhere, okay, Get dropped off at the batting center. This should be your second home. Come down to the batting centers and uh, spend the money to invest in your future. Spend, I mean, they have a speed and acceleration place here called Carolina Acceleration. I'm telling you about this. You have to get here and you got to invest in your future. You can be good. Pick up that tee. Go buy yourself a tee. Tees are not expensive. Go buy yourself a tee. Make sure you swing 200 to 300 times a day. You'll be well on your way to accomplishing every dream and goal that you set out. It's go time. You already know what time it is. CJBetty.com. <laughs> Save that one, yeah, please, I do, I do, I do. please. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna send you that in the email. <laughs> okay. <laughs>